doing? We out here, chilling on the spot. What up? What up? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Brothers Breaking Bread Podcast in the house. Hey, we'll have a little pop-up. Have everybody sure. over. It'll be good. Yeah, let's make it happen. Let's not just talk about it. This is a beautiful thing, man. Just all this blackness, and we all just getting together. We playing dominoes, we eating, we drinking. And, you know, food is always just the, the extra, man. They deprive these people of their basic human rights. You know, and we call ourselves Americans. We're supposed to be above all this. They'll fake the crisis. They'll make it seem way out of proportion. We brothers, we breaking bread. How y'all doing? We out here, chilling in the spot. What up? Trying to hold it all together, man. Life is moving fast right now, man. So it's good to have everybody come through. I love that, man. I love it a lot more than I could, I could, I could, I could say to you guys. Told you it's a global outbreak. They know it's easy to manage, but see, they need you to panic. It's all about cake. Some of my dogs found out late. But now the shit is everywhere like a dog you try and house break. Wait, when my dog smells yeah, me, that nigga mouth shake. He about to find out how human meat in his mouth tastes. I still feel coming out safe. It's something small. I was surprised how many people masked up I fucking saw. So I had to make a couple calls and realize this incident is just to implement Martian fucking law. Players touch the ball with the same hands they sneezing over. So the NBA shut down now and the season over. I don't even believe them jokers. I can see the actors. Leaders make you follow the media. Them mislead the masses. The word God ain't in the Bible if you read the chapters. To understand God, dog, you gotta read it backwards. They use dogma to deceive your asses. So when they say a dog, a man's best friend, I believe the asses. See these rappers Ain't smart enough or hard enough to get a topic like this started up. Cause all this up for years, they've been mumbling bars to hype the party up. Now that the clubs closed down, it's time to bar it up. I'm sorry, but if you ain't share no information and that new music you just finished making, use an imitation. And I'm giving you an invitation. How our white president live in a White House? That's discrimination. Intimidation is what they use to control the world. What happened in the past is nothing like what they told the world. I was told the world a fucked up place. Too much hate, plus sneaks are waiting your front lawn. You touch cake for fuck's sake. If you ain't home yet, just remember that COVID only 19 they ain't grown yet. Bars, bars, bars. That's yes. how we do it. Bars, bars. Hey, Cassidy. okay, bars. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like it. I don't know. All right, let me just, yeah. I don't know. I fell asleep. Monkey bars. I fell asleep for a bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what's going on? Y'all Triple B's in the house. Buzz breaking bread. Uh, another mm-hmm. week in the winterland apocalypse of uh, in the shadows of COVID-19. We still must go on full, full, in, full in full episode. We got 10 meters. We got Joe Jeff. And, you know, coming, coming, coming off that bench, great six man that he is, we got Zeb the Soldier. What's going on, fellas? What's up, what's up, what's up? What's happening? Yeah. Nothing much, good gentlemen. Nothing much. Uh, we opened that uh, show up. That was Cassidy, uh, the coronavirus freestyle. Hope y'all third eye just fucking exploded with ecstasy of all the knowledge we just received. Yeah, I'm going to have to, um, I need to go uh, look at that. I need to, I need to hear that again, actually, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah, my, yeah. um. If if COVID nineteen, I hate to see what the fuck it's gonna do when it's twenty nine. I, I don't know. Yeah, right. I mean, I mean, it might, it might be, it might be, it might be like, gonna be wrecking shop. No, it might be like a lot of niggas. They might get married, get into a nice moderate fucking you know low interest rate loan for a home. <laughs> <laughs> niggas, a lot of niggas stop about to burn down, down the world in 19. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> Two and a half kids in the hey, pit. Yeah. Hey, but I was say, Kobe Govich is going to start having kids, nigga. It's a little bad. <laughs> little, little bad ass kids. Bad ass kids. Start multiplying, nigga. Shit. 
to be anyway. Oh anyway, shit! Let's go around the before we get too deep in this. Y'all hey, playing? What's what's up, Come man? On. How you been doing, man? Yeah, uh, everything's good. Everything's good. You know, so forth and so on, or at least for now. You know, we'll see. We'll see uh, how things move forward. All right. All right. Don't 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 go outside, nigga. Stay so down. You, you stocked up on shit paper. Yeah. All that good yeah. stuff. I, I cannot go outside, so you can't go. You can't go outside. <laughs> no, I cannot. Oh. Niggas bird box out there, man. I've been outside today. <laughs> yes, is, you can't be around a bunch of niggas. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. I mean, I guess white yeah. people too. Niggas white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it's it's real out there in the field. But I'm, 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 you know what? In hindsight, I'm glad I didn't throw away any of my old uh, J.C. Penny magazines because I'm just. That's just shit paper for years. I'm gonna be all right. Anyway, how you doing? There you go. <laughs> Ten meters. What's that, up, man? That ain't, where I, that ain't where I thought you was going with that, nigga. I know. I know. Swerve. Swerve. That nigga look at the, the bra section like. <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, baby did law. Oh. Uh, anyway. I never look at it till I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm talking about how you roll it together to get the shit nice and pliable so that way you just ain't wiping your ass with a coat of wax. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would say. I don't need to hear no more. That's yeah, talking about beat good. it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, Timmy? It's how you doing, man? Shit, we doing all right up uh down here in the uh illustrious Austin, Texas. Austin. Um it's getting hot down here. Uh-huh. Not only the uh, COVID nineteen is spreading like wildfire, but uh, the temperature is going up, hmm. and um, it's getting close to ninety. And you can feel that shit. Ninety? Yeah. God damn. Ninety. It's eight. It was eighty seven today. Hmm. It, was, <laughs> it was eighty seven and humid, bro. It was sixty eight today. They talking about it's gonna be thirty three degrees tomorrow, nigga. Shit. <laughs> Bring some of that down <laughs> here, dog. Missouri. <laughs> No, you don't want nothing that thirty three. You don't want that thirty three, bro. That, that shit. Come on now. You had like you, you. You know what? You down there living good, living in that nice, warm, good, good cotton picking weather. You didn't forgot, nigga, about this winter. That's what's happening. Nigga, you sit to cotton picking, man. It, it's hell down here, dog. Because uh, it's about to get a hundred next month. Mm-hmm. I, I, I can feel it. Okay. I can feel that hundred coming on. I can bro. feel that. All right, what's going on, yeah. Joe? Uh, start crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nigga, sound Nigga like in the crazy. Dang. Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. so, has school been canceled or what? Uh, so, yeah, my, my school doesn't go back till April 3rd. Um, state of Kansas next door has basically abolished school. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> April 3rd is too right? Yeah, April third is tentative, obviously. Yeah, so we, we, you know we'll play it by ear, but right now we're supposed to go back on April third. So this is supposed to be spring break. We're supposed to go back uh, on Monday, yep. but yeah, they kicked they kicked the can down about two weeks after that. Mm-hmm. And then um, my kids are down in Texas, so they're here with me right now. But they're gonna go back to Texas, and they have canceled school also. But they're going to, uh, in at least in their school district, issue. Um, Laptop, laptops and, yeah. and do things online. So um, there have been conversations about what we're going to do in our school district. Um, I haven't engaged in them because, nigga, I'm on fucking spring break. So, <laughs> yeah, right. My, my office hours right. off from. <laughs> right. I might, I might, I might talk to y'all on Monday, but. Right now, I'm on spring break. Yeah, <laughs> I saw a headline. Um, I didn't. I didn't actually uh, pay attention to the uh, actual um, article. Uh, something about like you know spring break and um, you know uh, college kids going and just kicking it. <laughs> yep, acting stupid. You know what I mean? Bro, <laughs> Bro. drink the Corona and fuck the Corona. At the same, you know. Yeah, this is one motherfucker talking about. Uh, I'm young, mm-hmm. so if I get it, I'll be all right. <laughs> hey, nigga, that is not how. No, vi- but your grandmother won't. <laughs> but that's not how viruses work. Oh, you young, you be good. 
Oh, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, then like we talked about in the last show, yeah, it's, it's not about you, it's about the other people who may be compromised and right. spreading this shit to yeah. you. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, me, it's a serious thing. So, yeah. yeah, they shutting down these colleges too, man. They sending them college kids home. Yeah, my daughter's yeah. back home. I mean, she would have been home for uh, spring break, but yeah, they, yeah, in depth right now, they're not a, a clear uh, time for them to go back to uh, her school in Philly. Yeah. No, my I, my athlete down in uh, New Mexico, they told him you got till Friday to get up out the paint. So yeah, and and that's the fucked up thing though too, right? Is um you know for some of these kids, man, their parents, you know, their families put a lot of money to get them there. Sometimes it's just ain't a a blink of a, a snap of the finger and get you back home like that with all, right. with all your shit too. You know, so that means, well, I mean, but, well, well, I did talk to him though, but I mean, you take it how you want to take it. Flights are ridiculously cheap right now. That too. So, but you might, so the kids, but you kids might get sneezed on. Very fle- Say what? But you might get sneezed on. It's <laughs> true. You, 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 not, you, you might, you might have to break that six, uh, <laughs> six foot rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that uh, social, that social space, whatever they, whatever it's called. So are they are they um are they doing on flights like um uh are they like having the six foot thing on the flights like are they doing like half nah you half can't do that I don't do that you know? I don't, I don't think so. like half capacity yeah I don't think no. so no I doubt it they they charging they charging half the fare so I doubt they charging yeah. half the fare uh putting half the flight on. Yeah, but that, I, yeah. maybe they are. Maybe they are. Maybe that's why we subsidize in the right. industry. Uh, <laughs> no, I think, what, I think I think people are getting screened at the airport. Yeah, uh, they getting, they I getting, haven't been to one yet. But in I what way? They getting screened by what TSA agents. What do you mean screened at the airport? <laughs> like, uh, what you know, saying you know, uh, have you been to such and such areas where the virus uh, was prevalent? But then. Um, you know, did you have a fever within the last whatever? We're, you know, we're, we're trusting or, people <laughs> to, to give honest answers. So, yeah, we'll see. See, the thing about it is, I said screen. I didn't say the motherfuckers being vetted. I know, I get okay. it. But I'm saying, but screening means yeah, they gotta you, you, you trust them to give you an honest answer. So the like, honest answers, right? Yeah. Right. People right. come in the hospital, they want to get hospital care, and if I gotta tell you. Uh, no, I haven't been anywhere, so I can go to the ER. A lot of motherfuckers just going to, no, I ain't been nowhere. <laughs> now, can I sign Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it, you know, it's, it's a risk. I mean, you, you, you're, getting a, you're getting a, you know, $10 flight from L.A. to New York. You might be sitting next to one of the motherfuckers <laughs> from the Mucinex commercial, dog. I don't know, on the big green blobs, nigga. <laughs> Take it. Hey, we taking, taking real risk out here, nigga. <laughs> Ten dollar red eye, motherfucker. For that cheap ass, ass flight, your ass is shit. Two dollars to fly to the moon, nigga. Shit, good luck. Maybe <laughs> you, uh, maybe you take this seat in the petri dish. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool. All good over this side of uh, town. Um, yeah. Cool. Shit. I've been. Uh, well, you know, had to postpone the uh, the wedding because of all this shit. So. Yeah, basically been just chilling at the house. We're going to work this week no way, so it's been good. Eating breakfast, good. get up, work out, shit, start drinking, boot the dust off my Xbox, nigga. Shit, I had to remember how to, I had to start a whole game over because I ain't played that <laughs> motherfucker in a year and a half. I ain't know none of the buttons. So, yeah, that's Damn. all I've been doing. Damn. I've been thinking about that myself, actually. Yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. I ain't fucked with it yet, but um, I've been thinking about it. Yeah, I mean, and and this is, yeah, they got a bunch of on Xbox. They got a bunch of sales. I had I got like three or four games that was normally like forty, fifty bucks for like ten dollars, nigga. I was like, okay, nigga, I see what I'll be doing this weekend, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, man, I'm and now I need to go back down to my storage to go get my. Bro, I watched. Um, I've been watching like a gang of uh, cause they ain't no sports on, so nope. I just been watching like a bunch of bullshit. But now I watched some. Uh, I watched the uh, uh, Minister Society mm. <laughs> the other night. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And uh, and I hadn't watched that shit in forever. Right. And uh, damn, good. that's a hell of a movie. Yeah. You know you done fucked up, right? Yeah. You, you know you yeah, you're you done fucked up, right? <laughs> shit. Me and uh, <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. What's that? You said 11, 11, 11, 30. 11, 30. Oh. 
Damn. You said 12 30? <laughs> you know, you're fucked up, right? I can't stand <laughs> little black motherfuckers like you. <laughs> <laughs> I was, about uh, to, I was about to mix up that motherfucker. Uh, don't be a menace, but that motherfucker. I hate black pepper. I hate the black <laughs> Forrest Whitaker's neck. Hey, whoop the gold purse, gums. Oh shit! Okay. All right. <laughs> oh shit! Oh man. Okay. Moving on. Speaking of black people. Speaking of black people, hell of a segue. Here we go. Who serves as Bernie's campaign co-chair was on Chris Cuomo's show debating a Democratic strategist named Hillary Rosen. You might be familiar with Hillary Rosen. If you're not, I apologize for what you're about to see because this debate uh, had to do with Martin Luther King Jr., what he stood for, what he represented, and what he feared when it came to the white moderates in America. Take a look referenced um, Dr. Martin Luther King before saying that uh, he said from the Birmingham jail that we should be um, concerned about white moderates. That's actually not what Martin Luther King said. What he said is he we should be worried that. about the about silence Dr. Martin Luther of white King moderates. Jr. What Are he, you kidding me? Nina? Wait, oh, she's making he, a language point. What, you know, what he she, said was we should worry about the silence of white moderates. And what we have in Joe Biden is a man who is not silent. The Reverend Chris, what Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was talking about, he said it is the point that the white moderate wants things to be comfortable and instead of focusing in on that, the bigger threat is not necessarily the white uh, KKK member, but more the white moderate that is more comfortable you with know keeping what? things don't, the same don't or pretending use, like there don't is Don't use no Martin Luther King against Joe Biden. Deal. You, you don't have... You angry Negro woman, don't you dare use Martin Luther King Jr.'s name against our white savior, Joe Biden. Do not have it. <sighs> <laughs> don't you dare. That's uh, a lie. White woman. So, um, did y'all vote? Yeah. What'd you say? Okay. Did indeed. Did indeed. Oh, did we vote? Yes, yeah. sir. And losing job. I won't ask. I won't ask who voted for because that's your own um, personal situation. But yeah, you know. So I don't know. What's the look like? that, I'm what telling you, you nigga. You I'm, I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. Yeah. I tell also. Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you vote for Warren? Yeah. Was well, she still in the race? Were you, uh, were you registered in Texas? Yeah. No, 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 no. I was. I'm registered in Colorado. He registered in Colorado. What you? Hey, uh, long story. What, I ain't. Hey, hey, hey. You did absentee. <laughs> yeah, absentee. Yeah. The nigga said long story. Uh, uh, okay. yeah, so wait, wait. Where did you live in Colorado? Long story, bro. <clears throat> yeah. Who knows? <laughs> I did. I'm in. Col- I'm in Colorado now. I, I have a Colorado address. Oh. Uh. That nigga, that nigga like yeah. Rick Ross, nigga. Oh, oh. <laughs> you got different addresses. Oh. You got some uh, lemon pepper also? <laughs> right. That motherfucker, that motherfucker moving that Colorado weight, nigga. Like bullshit, Zeb. I do have a, a bottle of lemon pepper up there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but what y'all think about the video? The wings. Got any that right. Video. Uh, say again. <laughs> what y'all think about the video as it was starting to kick off there with the 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 white woman oh, it, telling Nina? I don't her. think we got to the. I don't think we, we got to the point to where the it, that shit didn't turn up. Yeah, we, it's it's about to turn up. I know. Yeah. I just I was just seeing what, what we had into. If y'all was paying attention, you know, like a good teacher. All right, here I go. That, oh, nobody, you don't have ball. that standing. First of all, I'm Hillary, sorry. You, you don't. don't. Don't tell me what kind of standing you, I have you, as a black woman in America. It, How dare you? You have a lot of standing as a black woman in America. You don't have the standing. You need to attack Joe Biden using Martin Luther King's words. <laughs> what? Hey, you know that you know what that remind me of? What's that? What's that? The video of the woman on the airplane that got they got kicked out the airplane this week. <laughs> Who got kicked out the airplane? It was a black woman sitting next to a white woman. The white woman was talking to a I don't want to 
Malcolm Stewart is it was black man, uh, flight attendant. Flight attendant. Black flight male, attendant. Yeah. black male flight attendant. And basically, uh, the black woman accused the white woman of calling the black flight attendant a nigga. <laughs> And she spat the fuck out. Y'all ain't see that? I ain't seen no. that. Chief. You I gotta see that video. I didn't. Yeah. I gotta. I'd have to find it. I'd have to find it. But uh, yeah, nigga, she spazzed the fuck out. See, you, you gonna call him a nigga in front of me? And then so while she pointing her finger over the face, the white woman went ahead and called her a nigga too. <laughs> 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 Oh shit! <laughs> so the whole rest of the flight is just watching this shit. They ain't boo, they ain't budget, nigga. They, this, this white woman must have been an asshole the whole damn time. Oh, so was shit. the flight already? It was already uh in motion. I, yeah, I, you know we. I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh, but they move, they move old girl, cause she was she was about to she was about to bring it down. She wasn't she was not small, nigga. She was about to bring the thunder. <laughs> no, she was about no, to bring it, bro. So I, I think the it. whole flight just sat there and just watched this white woman must have been ass the whole flight. I think I and got then, it, dog. But why did why the flight attendant look like Luther Vandross, nigga? He like <laughs> there it is right there. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. And a dick, 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 and a nigga and a dick, 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 and White woman, you understand Martin Luther King better than I do? Come on, man. Here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Martin Luther King was a socialist. Yeah, you can't hear it. But, but basically, yeah, what, what, as Joe described, they, they having a fight. They they having fist the cuffs. <laughs> You are fucking stupid. You need to be fucked up. I hope they lock your motherfucking ass up. You are dumb ass bitch. You are dumb. You know I will slap the shit out your ass. Who the fuck is a nigga? You the nigga. Nigga, nigga, she gave her that good, that good pimp, that good pimp choke, nigga. Look at that. That one, that good one hand. Like last week. You say? Yeah, nigga, shit, dang, high, nigga, nigga, this is high out here in these streets, man. Nigga, yeah. she, woo. apparently, she got that good, strong, one hand around her neck, like nigga, you about to see God today. <laughs> First of all, this black woman is not a small woman. Duh. Not at all. H- how you say? Not Joe? at all. She told God one to go. <laughs> <laughs> I got one to go. We got, I got one, one to go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, 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 hey, boy, the fight attendants ain't really trying to stop her with that lady's ass. Nah, that's what they're talking about. They like, <laughs> he said, nigga, you, you a grown ass man. You knew you could have moved her up off if you wanted to. <laughs> nigga, they just, nah. they, nigga, they, put nigga, a they, hand on her shoulder, dog. Hey, bro. He, he's, he's, got, he's, he's holding her shoulder just, just, what, what, what's going to happen? Hey, hey, nigga, <laughs> like, all he doing is moving her hair off her face, nigga, so she can get these blows in, nigga. That's all they doing, nigga, just moving the hair out of her eyes, nigga, so she can lay hands on this racist white woman. <laughs> they, about, they about to fuck her up. Oh, no. Oh, you really are still fucking fucking up, nigga. You understand? <laughs> Yeah, hey, she was like, oh, God. Hey, I had a flashback, dog. Brendan Winston to say that shit to me one time when I was fucking up at school. You must have lost your motherfucking mind. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, take shit. Man, that's two, man, that's two man. seconds from death, man. Nigga, she said, you must have lost is, your mind. Okay, this white woman don't realize that she's 30-something foot. She's close to God right now. All this woman hey, has uh, to do is just said, one big black hand. And, and that's it. She's a, she's with God. You didn't lost 
Uh, this this is what Seely would have did to Mister if she was a little bigger. Yeah, that's what it's just a little bit bigger. <laughs> instead of putting them, instead of putting them two crooked ass fingers up, she would have put the, her hands on that nigga's neck. <laughs> just like, you must have lost you your motherfucking mind. Yeah, nigga, she might have colored that ass purple. I'm a cunt. I'm a magical motherfucker. Magical motherfucker. Magical motherfucker. Damn, nigga. You get your ass beat like that, man. You just gotta shut the fuck up. Yeah, just sit down. <laughs> just sit the fuck down. Huh? And, oh. quit calling, and quit calling black people niggas. God I don't know how it. we. Oh, I know how we got there. Yeah, the, the relationship simple. of white people trying very to. Simple. Yeah, very simple enough. Yeah, so I, I, I don't know. Uh, they lucky they were doing that shit by by teleconference. Because uh, I think I think if that woman, if that Bernie backer, would have been next to that Biden supporter, I think it might have been the same reaction, bro. Yeah. You gonna tell me I can't I can't I'm invoke here. Martin Luther King like I don't know Martin Luther King uh t- no. like yeah. I don't like I don't understand that Martin Luther King was a radical and y'all hated his ass well, yeah. <laughs> Democrats hated Martin Luther King when he was alive. Uh, white yeah, people yeah. understand this. We probably yeah. know more <laughs> than you do. A little, little bit, little bit, just a little bit. bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Martin Luther King was a socialist. Basically, he up. was. Straight up, he was yep. a socialist. He was not a he's not a capitalist, no. no and what he knew, what nope. he knew was that the biggest problem, the bo- biggest impediment we were going to have to change was the white moderate. Yeah. Right, of course. The biggest impediment to change was going to be the, the white, white trackers. Yeah, absolutely. I love the status quo. Y'all don't want y'all don't want to rock the boat, motherfucker. That's why we're gonna get Trump again. That's basically what it is. It's just the hey, we it. like everything to be as white as snow, motherfucker. Y'all need some color. Need some color. You need some radicalism. Oh, you need Bernie, fucking Bernie, change. Bernie Sanders, Bernie Sanders ain't a white man. He's a Jew. Okay, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wondering. Y'all make, y'all make it sound like Shaka Zulu. It's running for this motherfucker, dog. Hold on now. No, dog. No, no, no. He's, he's, a, he's a socialist now. I'm just he, saying, he, he's dog. A I, I, I hear people throw around Wait old white minute. men. I'm like, I got three old white men to Wait choose from right now. Before, yeah, Trump. Before y'all throw out the word socialist, man, y'all need to look at that motherfucker Trump. If that ain't socialism, god damn it. Well, I don't know. That shit is funny. How you, how you want that, that fucking meme? Come on, that dog. Nigga, <laughs> The niggas trying to figure out if they want to push the button. They say, hey, am I going, am I going to uh, say socialism sucks or am I going to take the $1,000 I can use right now? <laughs> Dude, I think that's socialism like a motherfucker, huh? How, 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 how do I continue to make America great? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do this shit, but I, you know what? I'm going to give everybody $1,000. Isn't that socialism? Yeah. Boy, these that's white not- folks are here talking about if, 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 if Donald Trump ain't your president, you get your $1,000. <laughs> I guess you, you communist bastard. You, you. still full of Donald shit. Trump. You could kick. You yeah, could and, uh, and I tell him, wait a minute, that thousand dollars and stepping up your ass. Yeah, yeah. and y'all the same motherfuckers that shit on uh, Obama. But I'm sure uh, all your loved ones working for those uh, auto companies. You y'all took that money too, though. So let's let's chill exactly. the uh, chill the fuck out. <laughs> fucking fucking farmers that took the subsidies during the. Uh, the price war with uh with China. Yep. You know right. I mean? Yep. Yeah, for it. All right. We we'll keep let's keep it moving. But that um, but that but that ain't socialism. Yeah. On a different note, uh, Jill Stein, crooked ass, uh, uh, said, "Hey, Bernie, come on over to the Green Party if it don't work out for you." That's an excellent idea. Excellent. I guess. Right on. I mean, hopefully, hey, you know what? Bernie can go over there and he can ask Jill, hey, what happened to that $7.3 million that niggas gave you back in 2016 for that uh, election yeah. account? Oh, you, you, okay. Okay. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, though. And, that'd be, that'd be uh, guaranteed Trump. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Guaranteed. We're going to split up the Democrat vote. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah I mean, work. I said, I mean, we, I mean, I don't know, man. It's just. Bro, that. He he's probably gonna win 
anyways, um, I mean, regardless I, of, you know. I've been saying it, happens. dog. It, it's the same possibility. As, I've been, I've been as saying long it. long as if motherfuckers don't go out and, and, you know, get down and vote, you know what I'm saying? He's probably going to fucking win, man. The, 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 the thing it's, is, be it, be it Biden, you know, hardcore Biden supporters, high, hardcore Bernie uh, supporters, those are gonna be the motherfuckers that fuck us over, cause they ain't gonna be able to swallow their pride one way or the other and do what needs to be done. <laughs> Here's what's gonna happen though, if Bernie decides to go ahead and join this Green Party, um, and they, yeah, they're gonna split up the vote. Yeah, you know, so the hard. I mean, he, right, uh, be, uh, let me let me let me read it. Let me read this. Uh, him doing that though. Let me read this meme to you. You Bernie Busters are gonna give us Trump again. If you know I'm a Bernie or bust, but nominate somebody else, isn't it on you? That sound that it's sound some, that sound quite hoish, but I ain't gonna say nothing about it. Is, that is a little bit hoish, but <laughs> hey, if your you, man, you, if you your knew man, I was Bernie or bust, but you like, were but, but like I said, I, but like you. I said two weeks ago, Bernie when Bernie, when Bernie had it in the bag. Bernie, or, mm-hmm. Bernie Bros are all like, "Hey, whoever the nominee is, go out and support them." Now, right. a whole different fucking tune. It's same, a whole different same fucking stage now. Energy, my niggas. Same energy. You telling we me need the same swallow, energy? You, you, you telling me swallow my pride if Biden don't Nigga. win, but you can't do it the other way around? Come on now, nigga. That's why I said both, both, both those people so <laughs> dug in on either side because what's gonna fuck us up when we gonna have Fat Nixon for another four years? And we can't afford that motherfucker for one more year. You see motherfuckers are dying from something that... I mean, this shit could have been prevented, dog. I yeah. could be out now, chilling. I don't, know, no. I don't know if it could have been prevented. I won't go that yeah, far. No. I'm just saying I'm gonna, the, 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 leader, no, I'm, the leadership is like... Like you said last week, I don't think Trump or, or, or Obama or whoever the fuck stops the spread of this. I'm thinking we wouldn't be so far behind the eight ball. I'm still thinking we would have That's to take what these. I'm talking pre- about. Yeah, but I'm saying you, like, you, you still have to take these necessary precautions as far as like restricting, you know, g- large gatherings of people. I still think those things happen. I just think it, it doesn't take us two or three weeks for our president to find. And that's some other shit. That's some other shit too. People have been making excuses for this nigga. Like, well, no one can see this coming, except for everybody else in the world and his fucking advisors that's probably been telling him like that. Dark Doctor Fossey. That hey, this shit is real, bro. You can't just be fucking around. Right. That's what. That's what. And and that's what I think. I'm. I'm. I'm trying to say is that, you know, <clears throat> we've fallen so far behind on the uh, the testing and getting getting ahead of this 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 virus or whatever. Hey, hold on, hold um, on, hold on, real quick. We, it seems like we in, we didn't roll into this segment anyway, so. I mean, we know already got here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Hey, but uh, you know, that's kind of good. We know we got Bernie, um, Bernie, even the uh, young, young Andrew Yang. Some of his ideas coming out with this uh, Republicans unveil one trillion economic stimulus package to address coronavirus fallout. Yeah. Never mind the fact that they have already what, they, what was it like one point five trillion at the stock market, and In then the stock market, right. Uh, we talked about it last week, like another eight hundred, like billion or whatever, as far as initial testing and shit like that. All right. Yep. Hold on. Let's not mention that he's also bailing out Boeing. I mean, I, I won't. That's okay. Like I said, I mean, Bush has done it. Uh, Bush, Bush, done Bush it, yeah. Bush started mm-hmm. the 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 first round of bailouts and all that shit when the recession was was headed our way. I mean. Uh, what? Up but see, what, that two, was during a financial the, um, crisis. The, we're in a medical crisis right now. We're in a financial so crisis too. The, if you look at the stock market, we're in the financial well, crisis I mean, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why but it's is, caused why by is medical Boeing crisis. being bailed out specifically? Like, why is that? I, I think a, 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 a corporation, a bunch, a bunch of air, a bunch of airlines and other corporations are included in this one trillion dollar economic right. mm-hmm. It's not just Boeing, right? Let me see here. 
so people, people aren't flying, I guess. Yeah. Because no one's flying their planes. I mean, no one's uh, riding okay. in their planes. So there's also but, but um, Boeing's a, a hella, hella restaurant not a, not a, not a airline. Yeah, if if no one's flying, there's no need there's to buy. There's also it. hella. Uh, okay, so yeah, people fly, but people eat. Every day, right? Oh no, I, people I, eat yeah. more than they fly. Oh, so, I'm in ag- yeah. I'm in agreement that some of these some of these companies I, are, yeah. are, are are just looking for a handout. Um, right. Yeah, I, I I I agree with that. I'm just saying. I'm just. Well, here's here's the difference. Here's the difference because uh, giving money to the restaurant industry is socialism, and giving money to the airline industry is what it is. That's, well, that's I, the difference. I hear what you I said, see. Joe. I understand. I understand that perfectly, Joe. What you're trying to say. No, I know exactly. Yeah. This yeah. is good business. It's all. It's all. It's, it's all. Yeah. But, yeah. But, but so give it to the restaurant, the the tourism industry. <laughs> that's just socialism. Yeah, it is. That's, that's red. That's communist. Communist. Yeah. Given. That's given communism. And it was. It was funny. Like when I put the. I put up the uh, one. Basically, a uh, link similar to this one. The number one question people are asking is, are people who are unemployed going to be getting this money too? And I'm like, mm, good why? I'm like, why is that your concern? Why is that no, 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 no. No, there was a, there was somebody, and I don't remember where I saw this, but mm. they weren't laid off, but they just had zero. Oh hours yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so they went to go get unemployment. So when they went to the unemployment office, the unemployment office is called the employer. To see is this person laid, laid off. Person laid off, right? They die laid off. They just on a zero hour schedule. Yep. They couldn't even get unemployment, yep. bro. No. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that story is true or not. Cause yeah, me and Ada saw that too. But I, I can believe. I, I mean, I can see that shit happening though, for sure. Yeah. Like they cut a, your hours, but you're not exactly laid off. You're still on the clock. No, I mean, you're not even on the, the clock. You got. <laughs> you have a nah, zero hour schedule. schedule, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I mean, you, you, you're on a schedule for oh, zero two, hours. Two, 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 two. You're, on, you're on the payroll, but yeah. The, but the, no, no, you, no. I, usual. I get what it is. It's so the business doesn't have to pay that that uh, unemployment. I get it. Exactly. I got it. Yeah. Well, just exactly and then, but but, but then also, I'm like, there are people who are, you know, underemployed. You know, you know, people. I mean, right. it's, a, it's a lot of shit out there. If you're already underemployed. And then you get in one of your and like everything that we that we use daily is getting hit by this shit. So of course your pockets are going to be affected. You know what I'm saying? We got a guy. We got a guy at a uh, new guy at our lab who's fiance just had a baby. So he already was, you know, didn't have a lot of PTO to begin with. Then took off, right. with, you know, to be with his wife. I mean, his fiance after they had the baby, and now this shit comes. Mm-hmm. You know, and they right. have given no clear indication as far as like you're guaranteed forty hours. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't his fault that we're not doing procedures anymore. Mm-hmm. And it's, What's not, that? it's not his fault he doesn't have PTO. He just started working. Right. So it's 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 fucked up. Yeah, it's a fucked up situation, man. Like, mm-hmm. you know, everybody's gonna suffer. Um, well, most people are going to suffer. I don't know if everybody's going to suffer, but most people are going to suffer uh, to some extent. Um, but it's it's like, you know, um, the most vulnerable, the people that um, they're most vulnerable, but they're also um, the people that we rely on mm-hmm. when, you know, we go and eat out and uh, we go and have medical procedures and you know what I'm saying? We want to go and get mm-hmm. our car um, fucking, you know, get an oil change or whatnot and so forth and so on. You know, mm-hmm. like, and I don't know the answer. I'm not going to fucking sit here and like I, you know, act like I know, you know how, how um, what the policies should be or should mm-hmm. not be. But um, what I do know is that a whole lot of people is going to suffer. And that might, you know, I don't know, you know, it might, um, it might benefit, um, the status quo. It might benefit the, the, um, powers that be or whatnot. Right. As far as, you know, look. Well, it's, I was all, think- it's, it's been, it's been, a, it's been a program of, um, 
benefiting the wealthy already. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, let these motherfuckers wither away. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if that's the if that's the mentality, if that's the thinking, but um, that kind of seems what it is. Mm -hmm. But well, wish to, you know, we'll see. Well, <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully yeah. this money gets into the the the, the, the right mm -hmm. hands. And I mean, I know the rich are gonna be skimming off the top of it. We already know that. Of course they we, are. We know Trump ain't ain't throwing no money out there with him and his homeboys getting a piece of it. So. Oh hell no! Oh no! No 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 no! Yeah. You know what? As a side note, and it's probably off off subject a little bit. The one thing I could say about this whole ordeal is. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm going to be racist about. I'm going to be racist right now. But black people are the most. Do it. The black people are the most resilient motherfuckers out there, dog. Yes, we, we know. Yeah. We know how to make shit last. We know. Mm -hmm. We invent shit. We think through shit. I mean, niggas out there. We I mean, survive shit. We survive. Shit. So this cry. I'm not saying that you know we're in you know impervious to this uh, to the virus or anything like that. But we know how to survive. We know how to in in in, no, in we're the not, face we're of not, We're not. We're not. Um. Um. Uh, not accustomed to fucking tragedy. To right. fucking you know to shit going wrong. You right, know what I'm saying. So exactly. we'll get through it, man. Yeah, you know. We, what I mean? we, yeah, I we're mean, the most resilient. We don't, we don't necessarily panic. I mean, we are, we are more aware, but the thing is, we don't panic. But you know, niggas you, also got to wash their hands. True, true, yeah. true, true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the dapping and all the, uh, you know, right, right, right. shit. Hey, right. you know, it might, it might have to go away for a little bit. Yeah, dog. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I saw a nigga at the I'm grocery right, store. I, I ain't seen I, in a minute, and I, I had to. I had to new, go ahead. I was about to say I came up with the new dap, the uh, the fun guy. <laughs> just the fun guy. They call it the fun guy. <laughs> the fun guy when you when you when you reach your hand out for uh, for a pound, and I just point the other direction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. How <laughs> you talking about uh, old big old platypus? Like old platypus paws. <laughs> yeah. God. Why you call Ka Kawhi Leonard Paris? And then, big, uh, the big ass hand, the big ass mitts, nigga. Big ass, big ass, big ass. And then, and then my, my guy came through uh, earlier this week with the Wakanda. Ah, <laughs> hey, do it, do it. <laughs> oh shit. shit! All right, you know what? Yeah, this actually, you know, we'll, we'll close, yeah, we we'll get out of this Corona shit. This actually is a good way to close out right there on this They're Corona scaring shit. Scaring the living hell out of people, and I, I see it again as like, oh, let's bludgeon Trump with this new hoax. It's a hoax. By the way, this program has always taken the coronavirus seriously, and we've never what called the virus handy? a hoax. I'm not afraid of the coronavirus, and no one else should be that afraid either. I, hold my hand. I didn't take the social distancing that seriously Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. I went out to dinner here in the city, and I woke up this morning, and I realized that was not the right move. Hannity, tonight, if you are... <laughs> He woke up this like morning. A, like a nigga, like a motherfucker fucking a, a call girl raw. I woke up the next morning and realized <laughs> probably should have wore a condom. Right move. Yeah, he was back born to, again. Back to you, Chuck. My balls are on fire, nigga. And that nigga, nigga must have woke up to a, a, a Trump tweet. That's what he must have woke up to. So he got the message. Oh, hold on, hold on. Over the oh, mass hysteria, the message, if you're you over-politicizing and weaponizing of the coronavirus, you are not alone. This very moment is a critical time for everybody in the country. My sources are very clear tonight. We are now entering what will be the crucial defining 15-day period as it, was, as it relates to this virus. What a difference a day makes, bro. <laughs> As much as we love sitting elbow to elbow, and we mean that sincerely, we want to set a good example for everyone and practice physical distancing. Oh, now, now we on physical distancing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fox News, boy. Or they just looking for any and every way possible to bash President Trump. This is yet another attempt to impeach the president. 
And sadly, it seems they care very little for any of the destruction they are leaving in their wake. <laughs> Stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> See what's worse about this shit? What's worse? What's Damn, worse? And, and her shit on hiatus. Her shit on hiatus. Go ahead. Uh, right after she didn't get. Oh, man. The worst part about this shit, though, you is that Fox, you probably Fox News audience. Fox News audience <laughs> is the most vulnerable people to the disease. Yes, they are. They, they, they believe this shit. The people who yep. watch Fox News are 60 to 80 to 90. Yep. And they and they don't believe shit. They don't understand. They don't they don't yep. be engaged in all the social media that tells you the otherwise. They only get they one source of news from them, and they were right. busy telling them just ignore this shit. It's a hoax. It's the another hoax. it's another impeachment. Uh, a democratic. Uh, the Chinese yeah. the Chinese flu. And they love it's the Chinese the coronavirus. <laughs> no, yeah. that's a mother shit. And so say. then they and so they just out here going to restaurants and just catching the virus. Now if 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 if. If Fox News did their job a little bit longer and you motherfuckers old asses caught that shit and, and went on to glory. <laughs> we, we, we might be able to get Biden in there. Biden. <laughs> right, yeah. Hold on. Let me this out. Yeah. For, have spent weeks minimizing what is clearly a very serious problem. Oh. oh everybody else been minimizing. Let me stop playing this shit. <sighs> Fox News. How how they can get away with this shit? I don't because, get it. Because because capitalism. <sighs> capitalism. They're not, they're, not, they're not commies like you guys. No, they're capitalists. Fucking commies. They ain't even news. But I'm but I'm, I'm gonna need my thousand dollars though. Nah, yeah. but it's like I work with people who work in the fucking hospital who are registered nurses, who are. On some of them, I mean, you can go to my Facebook post. Some of my Facebook posts saying, yeah, I wasn't taking it that, that serious either. I'm like, come on, man. Why? Because the pre- and this is, was another person that was trying to defend Trump. Like, yeah, well, he was working with the best information that he had. I mean, I just took it seriously. I'm like, hold on, nigga. First of all, he's the president of the motherfucking United States. He's privy to so much more information than you and I can even fucking imagine. So, right. you, don't stop holding yourself... To, to his, his standard, because he's supposed to know better. He's the fucking leader of the nation. Right. And right. niggas just keep giving this motherfucker excuses, bro, time and time again. <laughs> I was watching that. But he gets, that shit's boring. He don't want to listen to that shit. No. He ain't just talking about, so, who's, that little, who's that little Italian Jewish man, Dr. Fossey? What the fuck he yeah, talking about? Yeah, listen to this shit. I'm not listening Do to I need to listen to this shit? When's tea time? Nigga, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hey, speaking of tea time, like you that. heard you heard OJ say y'all better not close down them golf courses. He gonna go crazy. <laughs> did he say that? <laughs> he did. Yeah. He tweeted that shit yeah. out. You know he got them videos he be putting out. He was like, "Hey man, <laughs> yeah, y'all, yeah. y'all close all these golf courses. I'm gonna go crazy." And I, I replied, "We <laughs> do not want that, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that. Cause that motherfucker gonna be stabbing up the charts, bro." <laughs> <laughs> hey, if he hey, if he was a real asshole, he'd been putting on a black golf glove as he said it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a whole nother level of fuckery, dog. Because oh, he already making white people mad with these tweets. If that nigga had him been sliding on a, a black, a oh, fucking black, black <laughs> golf glove, and like, hey, y'all close these golf clubs, y'all want to, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be like Candyman, nigga. Like, you'll see me in the mirror behind you. He <laughs> need a white, he need a white golf cart that has license plate to say Bronco on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know how we got here, but here we are. Shit, we thought we were going down a rabbit hole, guys. Uh, shit. Hey, uh, I'm down with Dre, like AC down with OJ. Hey, <laughs> oh, shit. hey my guy. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Shit. All right, so let's, uh, yeah, okay, Corona is bad. This, this, Go to, don't look at Trump tweets. Go to the CDC. Go to other yeah, respectable exactly. sources as far as like what you you should or should not do. Yeah, we'll, get, Pence. we'll get through yeah, this. Don't go Mike through Mike Pence. Pence. Shit. Mike Pence yeah. let, let <laughs> HIV and AIDS just fucking ravage yeah. whole cities in his 
during his time yeah. as a uh, governor. Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So yep. don't listen to that motherfucker, please. Uh, I, we talked about uh, what's his name? What, what's uh? Well, I'll see. Uh, well, the, uh, the, the, the the nigga, the hood nigga. What's his name? Oh, um, Ben Carson, the black Ben yeah, Carson. Ben Carson. Yeah, don't listen the, to that the nigga. White Ben Carson. Yeah, don't listen to Ben Carson. Yes, I know he's a doctor, yeah. but that nigga yeah, didn't drink the Kool Aid a long time ago, dog. So just don't listen to that nigga. He'll tell you whatever the fuck he gotta tell you. Why he washing his hands and wearing a mask? Just you know what, right. that nigga. <laughs> You know, it, 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 I, <laughs> hey, hey, the, the funniest thing was, uh, they, they had it on Twitter, but when he first came out with his big ass, like, uh, the his board of people who were his advisors for the coronavirus, and they were talking about don't be in groups of more than 10 people, and they had like 16 niggas on the stage. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't take y'all niggas seriously when y'all trying to be serious. Y'all y'all are literally doing the thing that y'all told me not to do in front of my fucking camera. Uh, did, y'all, did y'all see that video about the the Iranian prime minister or something like that who uh, was basically telling people to don't worry about it, ignore this shit, and he started sweating like a motherfucker. Hey boy, <laughs> hey, like boy. a church, and it came down with the coronavirus, telling them motherfuckers not. To. Hey, the whole uh, kind of running rapid in Iran. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. Then they call this shit. He was telling them, "Don't worry about it. It's not even an issue." While he was going yeah. down with the motherfucker, man. Hey, then they call this shit the karma. Then they call this shit the yeah. Then they call this shit the karma virus, nigga. Because soon you start talking shit about it, nigga, it pop up in your blood. <laughs> the karma like, oh, virus. The karma virus. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so you just, uh, you just, you just, you just, you just going to spring break, huh? Okay, okay, I got something for your ass, nigga. Mm-hmm. He's springing or breaking up in this bitch. Oh, you, and your, yeah. you, you and your homeboys just gonna go to open gym, huh? Just, just, just forty niggas sweating playing basketball. Okay, okay, I got something yeah. for you niggas too. Don't you worry, don't you worry about I'm, it. Look, if, if it's a karma virus, nigga, we all gonna be laid up next week, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, true that. True that. Hey, yeah. I should have yeah. had the yeah, same. <laughs> oh, shit. Talk and do. I ain't saying shit. You ain't saying shit. You saying something? Neither am I. Yep. But I do a lot of shit. So, anyways. What, what be- continue. We'll continue. We'll continue. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah. Anyway, where we at? Not Joe. Amazon. Oh yeah. One last thing. Uh, yeah. Uh, Amazon Prime ain't gonna be sending you shit, you nigga shit after a while. So yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, wow. I I think like only like the Amazon like official warehouse shit is going to be getting shipped out but you know how they have like private sellers on uh, their website I don't think they're mm-hmm. going to be shipping that shit no and also non-essential items whatever they de- uh, determine that to be um yeah yeah, shit. Uh, I was talking to James. He said, "Man, they they doing more business than ever before at his spot because everybody at home, yeah, on their fucking yep. computers, bored. Yeah, trying Try get gotta get a new TV, nigga. Yeah, yeah man, gotta gotta get a new fucking computer and all that shit so I can bullshit while I'm gone. So I mean, I don't know. I I, I know this. Uh, the lines the lines at Costco look like fucking Popeyes. Mm-hmm. God damn, like Popeyes. Yeah, man." So sad. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, that sound like that sound like something gone. Huh? I just say, like, hey, it's just sad, nigga. Just the world coming to an end, nigga. We yeah. just. <laughs> oh shit! Where are we at here? Uh, blah blah blah. Watch. Hey, there was. A, hey, I didn't know. I don't know if y'all noticed, but there was a debate the other night. Mm. Yeah. I heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. I heard something about it. Here's a clip. I've got to do, whether or not I'm president, is to shut this president up right now. Because he is undermining the doctors and the scientists who are trying to help the American people. This is an unprecedented moment in American history. Now, I obviously believe in Medicare for all. I will fight for that as president. This coronavirus uh, pandemic 
exposes the incredible weakness and dysfunctionality of our current healthcare system. I would bring together the leading experts in the world. Instead of doing this piecemeal, sit down and do what we did before with the Ebola crisis. And with all due respect to Medicare for all. Yeah, Ebola and this is a little different, but. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ebola yeah. wasn't here. I mean, Ebola what was in uh, West Africa, if yeah. I remember correctly. Well, we had a bowl yeah. here. There was a... Yeah, we had a couple of cases here. Especially here. from, like, medical doctors that were in... No, 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 no. That, no, there was a... No, this guy wasn't a medical worker. Yeah, this was 2014-15. I believe yeah. when it had okay. when the big Ebola scare came, but I'm saying it's just it's not as easily passed as this shit. There we go. Right. As and then, but, then, but, uh, then, but then also as you as you you are right, Zed. You no, know, I it's, think Ebola is more easily passed. That's like the airborne thing, right? Or am I not? Or am I, or am I mistaken? I think Ebola is more contact. No, it might be. I think it is because yeah, you gotta put them in a negative pressure room and all that shit like that. Oh no, no, no! You're right. You're right. You're right. Yep, 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 yep. You're right. It is airborne. Or droplets. It's either droplets or airborne. Yeah, you're right. And so this, um, the corona thing is uh, a contact, more of a contact. Like you don't necessarily have to contact uh, no, no, no. a so person to person, but like you know the services. You know, if you touch, um, you know what I mean. So forth and so on. No, know. so I, I think I'm not a medical professional, so I don't. Yeah. I don't no, so I, I, I messed up. So say. Ebola virus is transmitted among humans through close and direct physical contact with infected bodily fluids, the most infectious being blood, feces, and vomit. Uh, it's not a, it's not an air virus. Mm. So that word, so, not so passing is it, it's. I think it's much more difficult because it has you have to have bodily fluids that are passed from one to the other. Right. Yeah. Hold on, I think. Ooh, that got me digging deep. Any, anybody else watch a uh, outbreak on Netflix this week? No. <laughs> I, 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 just on I just saw uh, outbreak. Yeah, I just went. <laughs> well, I didn't. I didn't watch it though. Yeah. Nigga, the motherfuckers having a resurgence. Nigga, they, everybody watch them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. See what they up again. <laughs> <laughs> They about to blow this town up. <laughs> and I think yeah, so we had a, so COVID is is uh, spread through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Right. So that's why it's, it's such it's 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 much more easy. So to pass. it's more it's more. That's what easily more. spread. Yeah. So that's why they yeah, have okay. the six foot ban. You know, mm -hmm. you're right. out with people, shit like yeah. that. Whereas yeah, you got to be. That's why I said it's a little bit different. Like, whereas Ebola is much more. Um, when you see it and people die from it, it's it's much more graphic. Uh, because right. it is uh, was it a uh, hemorrhagic, whatever the fuck, you know, like you know me in words. But uh, but yeah, but you yeah, said but, it was but more, you, much more what? Well, it, just the way it breaks down the body. I mean, it's basically like just fucking liquefying everything for the most part. Whereas it doesn't okay. look, it, it looks much worse, but it's harder to spread. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But because of the, but when uh, it does the contact, spread, it just it's, it's, it's just more. Um, yeah. It looks bad. Yeah. yeah. It looks more worse. Yeah. All right. So there we go. So I, I mean, I have I've never seen it personally, but just when people talk about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, man. I mean, it's a it's a serious situation. Um, obviously, this is all we're going. You know, this is what we're talking about, and you know, as it should be. I suppose. Um, and, you know, like, I heard um, just the other night that it was like 3% mortality rate. And, you know, I didn't know that. I literally didn't know that. I, you know, and that's just my own ignorance. Um, and so, yeah, man, you mm -hmm. know, like, this is some. it's a serious thing. You know what I mean? And so... Oh no! Sorry, I'm I'm just reading this Ebola shit <laughs> and just talking about uh, symptoms of impaired kidney and liver function. In some cases, both internal and external bleeding. For example, oozing from gums or blood in the stools. Oof! Don't sound good. Don't sound good. 
No, that's yeah, that's that. Yeah, Ebola but virus. yeah, but the bigger yeah. point was, I think, I think that's yeah, it's 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 yeah, you have to take much more this. Much more precautions, especially when something is like it, it can be spread through the air. Right. You have a single payer system in Italy. It doesn't work there. It has nothing to do with Medicare for all. That would not solve the problem at all. What are you doing to protect yourself? Last night we had a, uh, a fireside chat, not a rally. Uh, we're not doing that right now. I'm not shaking hands. Joe and I did not shake hands. <laughs> uh, and I am very careful about the people I am interacting with. Thank God, for the time being, anything can happen, as my mother would say, knock on wood, that I'm in good health. I'm taking all the precautions anyone would take, whether they're 30 years old or 60 years old or 80 years old. Let me ask you a question, Joe. Yeah. You're right here with me. Yeah. Have you been on the floor of the Senate? You were in the Senate for a few years. Yeah. Time and time again, talking about the necessity, with pride, about cutting Social Security Cutting Medicare, cutting veterans programs. No. You never said that. No. All right. America, go to the website right now. Go to the YouTube right now. <laughs> yeah. Nigga said the YouTube. <laughs> Yo, hey. He's still yeah, old. the YouTube. He's still an old man, dog. Yeah, hey. yeah, he is. Yeah, niggas yeah. add niggas. Go to put, the Facebook. Hey, old <laughs> niggas put it's old niggas put correct. the and they put S's. They put the at the beginning and S's at the end of everything, dog. It's when you get yeah, old, dog. The Facebooks. Hey, the Twitters. Hey, you going to the Walmarts? <laughs> Walmarts. <laughs> hey, you going down to the Target? <laughs> <laughs> Niggas get old, dog, and they put the at the beginning and, and S at S's the end of everything. The at the beginning and S's at the end. Hey, boy, you on the Googles? <laughs> Look <laughs> You on it's, the Google? It's singular and plural at the same yeah. time. You on the Google, boy? <laughs> hey, look something up for me. <laughs> Everybody laughing because they like, damn, yeah, my pops do that shit all the time. God damn. That's <laughs> <laughs> already talk. I already talk that way. Yeah, hey, I'm, get, I'm getting there. Yeah, I already do it. I already yep. do it. Oh, shit. Yep, yep. All right. <laughs> I mean, no, not a lot there. I don't know. People are saying, like, like I mean, from Twitter, they were saying they, that Joe won the debate. I mean, of course, it's just highlights, but I don't know. I don't right. Know. It's one of those things. Like, there's proof. There, there are instances and in proof of Joe Biden, like, wanting to make cuts to uh, Social Security and other uh, support, social support programs. So I don't know why he was just, ah, no, I didn't. <laughs> He's a villain. Mm. Everybody's a villain. Yeah, that's, that's the media. I mean, like, I mean, so they ask Bernie Sanders yeah. every time he's interviewed, like, well, how are you going to pay for uh, Medicare for all? You know what I'm saying? And he says it every time. And they ask him every fucking time. And then in the debates and, and you know, they're like, well, how are you going to pay for it? You never said, how are you going to pay for it? You know what I'm right. saying? So it's just, you know, it's a it's a game. And um, he's losing this game. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And Joe Biden's going to win. And, um, and we'll see. Hopefully, uh, he wins the whole game. You know, he wins the fucking war. You know what I mean? Like. Cause somebody because somebody we don't to, need we don't need we don't need um the goal Mr. Is Trump to, we don't need Mr. No, Trump it, yes it's just, it's just so gonna the be, goal is to get that bastard out of office yeah, it's just gonna yeah. be Joe Biden and fat, fat, yeah. fat Nixon just talking shit to each other and no one saying mm. anything of their policies none of that shit nope. I, see, I see it coming I see it mm-hmm Oh man. Okay. I'm going down my list here. Yeah, uh if y'all got guns and need ammunition, uh hurry up. Niggas is buying a lot of ammunition in the metro area. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> Five metro areas. Yeah. Kansas City is yeah. one of them. All of yeah, well this is from uh, so Boston, Boston. But it could be a, Boston, Texas. Definitely. But when niggas was like, yeah, when they was talking about, you know, uh, I know Joe, you talked about uh lines and getting to Costco. Yeah, there was a lot of places. And niggas was just like, there was a lot of, uh, on Twitter, they showed people just lined up outside of gun stores and shit. Like, motherfuckers, yeah. motherfuckers think it's in the days for real. Mm-hmm. 
So yeah. Get all your toilet paper, get all your ammo. So what the fuck you need a gun for if it's the end of days? What do you need bullets for if it's the end of days? What are you gonna Because uh, I run out of toilet paper and shrimp and I heard my neighbor mm-hmm. got some. <laughs> so I'm about to go take his shit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I noticed. I noticed that he was in, he wasn't in line when they were selling guns. Uh, uh, buy one get three free. So me and Lay Lavender going to this nigga's house. And we about to take all his shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you gotta come up off that shit, dog. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I gotta eat. In God, eat. in God we trust. Everybody else, keep your fucking hands where I can see them. Right. <laughs> give me six feet. Give me six feet. Give me six. Hey, yeah, and give me six. Rabbit feet. ears, nigga. Hey, 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 nigga. Put them, put them gloves on before you put the food in the bag, nigga. Put them gloves on. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me spray you with some of this disinfectant, nigga, before you start touching your food and putting it in my bag, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, you can't that's find no a, alcohol. That's a, no that's a fucking no. um. Nah. That's a that's a fucking sad um case. If it was in the court of law to Man. be made for the human race, you know what I mean. If that's what it is, you know what I'm saying. No. And look, I understand uh, protecting yourself, but yeah. I'm just Fuck saying, that. man. I mean, I mean, yeah, we, we all, no, but you're right. Yeah, that's how people think. Yeah, we hey, all, we've hey, all, we've I've been seen, saying uh, this. We've all seen uh, Mad Max, nigga. I, we've all seen Mad Max, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we, we've that's seen true. that. Yeah. But more importantly, we've all seen Idiocracy, right? But that too. Yep. That yep. too. Yeah, that's what this world is coming to. Idiocracy. Well, you know, I've been, I've been a member of the Kick This Ball Into the Sun. Into uh, the sun, church, <laughs> church of Latter Day Saints for a long time, dog, and maybe coronavirus is the sun, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the reset. It's that reset button. <laughs> That's what I'm it like, is. I, I like the people I fuck with, but overall, yeah. uh, humans ain't shit. So there we have. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! Let's move on. Break bread with your brothers whenever possible.